Okay, I have to record this video before the sun goes down because this light is very strong. I asked you guys on Instagram, give me some unpopular K-pop opinions. And I know this is kind of like overdone or whatever, but listen, I, I wanted to talk about unpopular K-pop opinions and that's what we're gonna do. You can't tell me what to do, okay? This is my channel, I do what I want. So like I said, I asked you guys on Instagram and if you're not following me on Instagram, um, you should because that's where I post a lot of just whatever I want. So we're just gonna get started, so let's get into it. Some of these opinions I'd really, like, I did not expect. Um, they're a little harsh, but we're just gonna read them anyway. Remember, this is coming from y'all's mouths, not mine. First opinion is Jimin is low-key a better dancer than Hobie. I mean, okay, I'm not like a dancer person, so I don't really like care about this, but let me know what you guys think because I got some people, I had some people DMing me being like, who is this person? Like, I wanna fight them. <laughs> so Jimin being a better dancer than Hobie? I mean, I don't think so. I don't think so. I feel like Hobie has like, kind of maybe more experience. But Jimin has a lot of experience too. I don't know. I'll leave that to the comment section. Baekhyun is the best vocalist in EXO. Sorry, Chen, sweetie. <laughs> I don't... Listen, okay? <laughs> listen. I didn't listen to Chen's last two albums or EPs or whatever they were, so... I can't even sit here and say, wow, I agree. I like, at the EXO well, I'm just gonna say this straight up. I really wish... Like, I would have really liked Dio's voice in Obsession. I feel like his voice fits Obsession more than like Baekhyun's and Chen. But that's just like me because I like Dio's vocals the most. Okay, in my order, it would be Dio, Baekhyun, and Chen. You know what? Chen has his communications degree. Okay, isn't he like getting a degree in marketing or something or communication? So leave our, um, in debt king alone okay i don't i'm not sure about south korea like if they got a problem with like debt over there like in america but he's already going through enough okay give chen some sympathy next one is kind of an obvious one but i'll let it pass blackpink is overrated i love them but other groups would deserve the hype even more i mean i think we can all kind of agree with this um but i also paid 500 dollars to see them in real life so maybe I'm a part of the problem. I never thought about that, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm part of the problem. All right, next one. Not gonna lie, I don't like Cherry Bomb by NCT. I, I don't really like it either. Like I, they have better title tracks. You know what I mean? So like, I totally get it. Um, NCT 127, I think they come out with the best songs out of all the NCT subunits, but I don't think that would surprise anyone. Maybe NCT U, actually NCT U has the best songs and then NCT 127. Don't fight me, I'm not a stan, so yeah, let me know what you think. I don't like Cherry Bomb, but Sun and Moon, Sun and Moon off the Cherry Bomb album. Guys, don't sleep on Sun and Moon. You and I, you and I, you and I, Uri Manu Pi Mide. Dream Sun and Moon for good, clear skin and a lottery win, goddammit. All right, this is kind of a harsh one. This person said, this one really will give me some hate, but Jimin is a terrible singer and cannot stay on pitch. <laughs> when I got this, I was like, oh, fuck. Jimin, sweetie, I'm sorry, okay? Jimin, wait, let me think. Jimin is a terrible singer and cannot stay on pitch? I don't, I don't think, can you hear my mom yelling? <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, Jim, okay. I never thought Jimin was a bad singer. I just don't like his voice. Like, this is the same thing with EXO. I just, I just don't like his voice as much as like other people in the group. Like, even though Jin's not like that good of a singer, like to some people, I feel like he has like one of the best voices in the group. Him and Young. and I'm also biased because they're, they're my biases. Like Jin, Taemin, and Taemin? Why the fuck I say Taemin? They're the only voices I really like, especially when Tay actually can like sing in his low like octave, like his natural octave, instead of like them forcing him to sing 
like hi. Next one. Armies love pointing the. Oh god. <laughs> as soon as I see armies love pointing the finger, I'm like, I'm about to get busted. <laughs> armies love pointing the finger at other fandoms when it comes to being the most toxic fandom ever, but it's really them. Blinks right after. I'm not. I'm not gonna disagree but I am a part of both of those fandoms so I feel like I have to say something okay <laughs> I feel like if you're talking about just like certain people on Twitter yeah but other than that I've never had issues with ARMY ever I've never had an issue with ARMY in real life I've never had issues with ARMY like on YouTube or anything like that so I don't I I don't really agree with that and then blinks right after I mean, they're both the biggest K-pop fandoms, so of course they're gonna be kind of like the most toxic because that's the most people. And then like even the small cluster of people who are toxic in that fandom are gonna be more than like smaller fandoms. So that kind of makes sense. But at the same time, like I kind of agree just because they're bigger than all the other fandoms. So I agree, but with the asterisk. Taemin is the best dancer in the industry. What about Kai? He's pretty fucking good. <laughs> no, but Taemin's a legend. I would have to agree with this. I don't put anyone disagree. Oh, Taemin's not the best dancer in the industry. What? <laughs> if you saw Super M, if you saw any of my Super M vlogs, you know, now that I think about it, I don't think I put Taemin in a lot of the vlogs, but they were really fucking good. So you should actually check out that, that vlog series because I saw Super M in five cities and it was so much fun. So that will, that place will be in the description. EXO deserves better. I agree. We all agree. Like, I don't think this is unpopular opinion, but at the same time, I can see how it could be unpopular opinion because EXO is literally the, one of the most popular boy groups like ever. I can see some people be looking at this being like, what do you mean? Like, they're not a Nugu group. You know what I mean? They're not from like a no name company, like struggling. But at the same time, I noticed a few years ago when NCT, they, it, so when NCT U had their debut, I really do feel like it kind of had the same effect when EXO debuted because when EXO debuted, um, you know, they were making all, like, not just they were making all the money, but it was like SM gave more financially to EXO because they were debuting and that was like their new investment technically, you know, as a group. And I feel like as soon as NCT debuted, SM said, fuck EXO, <laughs> like low key, because EXO already had like a solidified fan base. So I feel like SM was kind of like, well, we don't really need to try that hard. Um, we can give most of this money to NCT because like they're like our new investment. So like it makes sense, but that is true. SM really did say fuck EXO after NCT debuted, but it has gotten better. Um, Obsession is so good. Actually, Obsession, this is an unpopular opinion, but Obsession is probably like one of their best albums because Love Shot, like Don't Mess Up My Tempo, Love Shot, Power Repackage, I, those were bad. Those were not good, okay? Like, I'm just gonna say it. But Obsession really, like, it made me feel more proud to be an XOL. Not shaming another, but there's a difference between just a BTS stan and a K-pop stan. You know, I would kind of have to agree, but I, at the same time, I don't really know anyone who's just a BTS stan. Actually, that's a lie. My friend Jasmine is just a BTS stan, but I was telling her, cause she saw this story and I was telling her, you know, we were talking about it and she was like, it's not that I don't like or respect other groups. She was saying how like, it's literally so hard to like be really into BTS and then try to be into another group too. So like that makes sense, but do you guys think there's a difference between just being a K-pop stan and a BTS stan? I don't, I don't, because it's like, oh, BTS is to K-pop as One Direction is to pop music, but no one's out here being like, oh, if you, you can't, you can't like One Direction if you don't like pop. You know what I mean? Like that's, that's kind of, that's kind of weird. So, but I do feel like K-pop is a lot different because it is more niche. Like even though it's popular, it's still nicher than just pop music, just Western you know, English speaking pop music. I would have to, I would have to agree with that. I mean, you can be, you can just like BTS and, and that's it. But I don't think that's rude. It's, they were like not shaming another, but I don't think that's rude. 
Let me know what you guys think, because I have no clue. All right, next one. Chungbin and Jisung from Stray Kids are the best rappers in the industry, no cap. I don't know who they are, because apparently I'm tasteless, because I don't listen to Stray Kids like that. Also, let me know some Stray Kids songs so I can start standing. I asked you guys on Instagram too, but I wanna, I wanna get some of that uh, Stray Kids tea, because um, Felix, I don't know really like what he does, but that voice, that voice really be hitting different. That's all I have to say. That's all I have to say on that. Like, I don't really know who these dudes are, but I would let them smash. Like 10 out of 10, I would let them smash. I mean, look at them, like, come on. Next opinion. I honestly dislike people who stand only one group. Why? Why would you dislike somebody that just likes one group? I guess the same thing with being a BTS stand. But at the same time, it's like, I, I couldn't imagine just liking one group. You know what I mean? Like, I couldn't imagine being like, oh, okay, just EXO. Because that's just not me. Like, I can't just sit here and be like, okay, I'm just gonna stay in one group. This, that's it. But some people are like that. So I think it all just depends on the person. Cause like I said, I know someone who literally just likes BTS and that's it. They're like, I'm not gonna spend any money on other K-pop groups. BTS is my old. And I'm like, I mean, I kind of respect it because it means like, you know how to budget, but <laughs> multis like me, like, we struggling. It's not we jopping, it's we struggling. <laughs> BTS could be better as far as live performances and vocal quality, but big hit won't. And they didn't finish it, so I asked them what they meant. But she was basically like, yeah, um, Jimin has talked to constantly or a few times about how big hit doesn't like train them, their vocals properly. And they could be better live if they had good vocals. And I was like, Damn, like you kind of right though. I mean like, okay. I, okay, this is just a quick story time. So when I saw BTS at Soldier Field night, I believe it was night two, they performed like the truth untold and it was just, I, like it wasn't really bad, but it was like, I don't know because it was raining or because it was, I don't know. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure how, but they just were off. It was very off. Yeah, I, I would have to agree with that. Um, Big Hit could be investing more in like their vocal quality, but we're still gonna go to the concert. So I guess they're like, why would they? These bitches gonna be going anyway. These bitches gonna be dropping. Wrong fandom, sorry. <laughs> Wrong company. Okay, <laughs> someone said, please don't fight me for these. I'm probably gonna end up fighting you. Blackpink is overrated. They're talented, but YG is letting their talent go to waste with mediocre slash similar sounding songs. Okay, I've been saying this shit for so fucking long. So you know what? I agree. Even though Blackpink is probably like my 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 second group because it's EXO, Blackpink, BTS, or I don't know, it, it changes based on the day, okay? <laughs> I'm a multi, what can I say? So this is every Blackpink title song. Jenny intro, Lisa rapping, Rose or Jisoo pre chorus, OT4 chorus, and then Jenny noises. <laughs> like just straight up Jenny noises. Like, bum, 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 bum. or oh my god, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or in doo 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 doo. Ah, yeah, ah, yeah. <laughs> Every song, go to every single one of their MVs, go like stream any of their like main title tracks like Kill This Love or Doo 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 Doo. They have the same structure every single time. Every song, every Blackpink song, this is not hate. This is not me being a the skies hater. Look it, if you think I like Lady Gaga, what makes you think I won't like Blackpink? I don't, that has nothing to do with Blackpink. I'm sorry, but I just wanted to um flex on this four-year-old jacket that I bought that was like $60. <laughs> you can't be mad at that. You can't be mad at that. Okay, that's just facts, period. This is the last one. This is the last opinion that we have. You ready? Here it is. This ain't unpopular. I just want to say SM is trash. Okay, I'm done. Well, that was a great end to the video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like the video and subscribe. Leave down like your unpopular K-pop opinions. I reply to basically all comments because I, I'm i lonely and I don't have anyone to spend my time with right now. And I'm just really sad, like all the time, you know what I mean? Like I'm just, and I'm like in debt. Like, I don't, I'm 
just plain sick. But yeah, leave a comment and everything. And thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to be a part of Crackhead Nation. And I will be seeing you in the next video. Love you. Goodbye, adios. Wait, did I say that right? Goodbye, adios. <laughs>